Hi, I'm Dr. Roadhouse, and uh, I want to introduce you to my patient, uh, Maureen Brennan. Uh, she's been in our, our uh, uh, low back decompression program. And why don't you just kind of tell us, you know, uh, where you've been, what your symptoms were, all the, the tests and doctors that you went to, okay. and then you've been in the program about a month now. Just kind of, you know, let them know where you're at now. All right. Okay? Well, um, I, I'm a registered nurse, and approximately a year and a half ago, I had an incident at work that resulted in some low back pain. So I had been seeing a, a, another chiropractor for a problems previously, so I sought his advice about this pain and went through a few sessions with him, didn't notice any improvement, and the pain was continuing to get worse. Where, and where was the pain? The pain was mostly in the lower back, but the majority of the pain was in my hip area and down, radiating to my left leg. Okay, how far down the leg? All the way down the leg. Okay, all right. To my toes. Okay. So uh, I thought I should seek medical attention. Sure. So I uh, contacted my physician who ordered an MRI of the lower back, and this revealed a, uh, a lumbar herniation at the L4 and 5 level and that was diagnosed as the cause of my pain, was a herniated disc. So he referred me to a orthopedic surgeon, and the orthopedic surgeon recommended a series of um, physical therapy and epidural cortisone injections. Okay. So uh, over the course of the next couple of months, I went through a series of uh, physical therapy exercises uh, three to four times a week, and then over the next couple of months, I also had three epidural cortisone injections into my lumbar spine. Um, and how did that do? Did not really receive any benefit from okay. the cordyceps injections. Okay. I did find that the physical therapy was more helpful, and okay. I actually went and purchased some of the equipment that we used in physical therapy and started doing it at home. And it, it was beneficial, but I, I wouldn't say that it, it was uh, not by leaps and bounds by any okay. means. But I continued to do that, and, um, and after I completed the physical therapy sessions, at the physical therapy institution and the, at a, the, epi, the epidural injections, I went back to both physicians and both of them's response was basically to, uh, to just learn to deal with it and that there wasn't anything more they could do. So I did for a while and, and then I just wasn't happy with that being an option. Mm -hmm. So I sought attention on my own through um, an acupuncture mm -hmm. and I completed a series of probably at least a dozen acupuncture sessions, I really did not received very much benefit from them, um, and I just continued to do the physical therapy until I came to see you. Okay, so when you came in to see us a month ago, describe your symptoms that you still had. The symptoms I had and, and have had over the past year and a half is just daily pain in the lower back, mostly in the left hip, and pain uh, radiating down my left leg. The only thing that um, seemed to help was the physical therapy, and all it would do was sort of mobilize that pain so it didn't go all the way down my leg, but I still had some leg pain and hip pain with it. Okay. And, and the leg pain then would continue to come back? Yes. Right. Okay, so yes. when you did the physical therapy, kind of eased it up. Just but temporarily. Then, yeah, and then it came back again. Okay. Now, how did it affect you in, like, you know, your daily activities? I mean, what was it like when you yeah. first got up in the morning? The mornings were the worst. Okay. And the mornings were the hardest, getting up out of bed. Uh, it just felt like lost six inches of my muscle and was having to stretch it back out again every morning and then walking until I could loosen it up a little bit. And then just simple things like bending over to tie my shoes or working in the garden, just bending over to pick up something, um, twisting a wrong way just would it result in yeah, shaking okay. pain. Right. And what about like when you coughed or sneezed? I mean, Coughing and sneezing also resulted okay. in pain. Right. Had you pressure. Okay, had you noticed any weakness like in the leg going up and down the stairs? Or anything Not like initially, that? but okay. that over the, over the year and mm -hmm. I, I did notice just in climbing steps that my, my left leg would drag just a little bit. Not okay. dramatically and I feel, still feel I have a lot of strength in my left leg, but it's not as strong as it used okay. to be. All right. Okay, so that pretty much stayed and you just had little fluctuations of improvement but nothing that really Major. significant. Okay, so we've been you know, when we first examined you, you know, we did the cerebellum testing for dysophilies, right. and we found that out, and that kind of surprised you a little bit mm -hmm. when we were doing that. That's real important in the decompression because it keeps the muscles tight on one side, balance coordination, stuff like that. So we started doing the neurological treatments on you, got you on the oxygen, we've been doing the decompression, and uh, how would you say you've done, you know, in the, in the month that you've been here? Yeah, I've just been here about a month, and I've noticed 
more improvement in this one month than I have in anything else I've done over the last year and a half. Okay. Good. Well, I just want to give you an idea because she just started out. I mean, obviously, you've had a long journey, you know, going to these, you know, acupuncture and other chiropractic, doing regular chiropractic, you know, the physical therapy, the epidural injections, and you're on your way now. I mean, at least now you can see light yeah. at the end of the tunnel. It's not if you're going to get better, it's when you're going to get better. And I, I can believe that now, yeah. which I wouldn't have before. Yeah. So okay, so what impressive. we're going to do is we're, we're just going to do, you know, check up maybe in another month and see how you're doing because uh, because of the cerebellum being tight on that you know I mean not working right and the muscles being tight on that side then we haven't been able to get you up to the full load that we need to do so we're gradually moving up to that level so once we get the cerebellum doing better and the muscles start to relax that side then we can start upping so I think we're going to have even better improvement over the next month or six weeks you know than what we've had which has been been pretty good so we'll just do a little update on you okay. we'll keep work on everything and then we'll check back with you a little bit but I appreciate you doing this video for us I appreciate you all right thank, thank you. you hi I'm Dr. Brian Roadhouse and I want to introduce you to my patient Maureen uh, Maureen um, had a, a disc problem and sciatica and uh, so she's been in the program we did an initial video on her when she first started and now we're updating it so Maureen why don't you kind of back up and tell us all about, you know, uh, the symptoms that you were having, okay. you know, everything like that, and then where you're at today. Okay. Well, um, initially when I developed this problem, I was having uh, a lot of low back pain uh, that radiated down my left hip and down my leg. And it was, uh, it was something that was you know, chronic. I dealt with it every day. It was hard to get out of bed. I couldn't bend over. Um, but over the course of the last five months coming to this therapy, um, I've been able to do things that I haven't been able to do for over a year. It's just nice. very simple things like mm -hmm. bending over and touching my toes, mm -hmm. sitting with my legs crossed. Putting um, your shoes on. Putting my <laughs> shoes on, exactly, just simple things. And, um, and, and being more active too, more, mm -hmm. more exercise. Okay. So uh, when, when you had the sciatica, how far down the leg was it going? All the way down the leg to the tip of my toe. Okay, did you feel any weakness in the leg, like when you're walking up and down the stairs? I did. Okay. I, I did feel weakness right. in the Any leg. numbness or anything? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. And then, um, uh, obviously, you know, the low back pain. So, so how did that affect you, like, in your everyday life, like, as far as sitting and just doing your regular activities that you normally, normally do? Initially, it, it had a big impact, and I couldn't sit for a long period of time. Um, I was in, I would say, pain all day long, mm -hmm. uh, and the only thing that would relieve it would be, um, you know, Advil or okay. ibuprofen. Mm -hmm. And um, but now I, I can wake up in the morning pain free. Okay. Really, it doesn't wake me up in the middle of the night like it used to. Okay. And, and you're sleeping better. And I sleep a lot better than I used to. Yeah, Good. much better. Good. Well, those are all you know great results, and you feel like you're getting your life back. I do. It's made you a still big have to difference. be careful because you know we're not all the way done yet. Right. You know because we're in the finishing up on uh, the disc, and we're working on the cerebellum with all the neurological treatments with oxygen, right. brain and decompression. But we've been doing the the rehab, and that's our big thing right now is finish up on decompressing the disc and then strengthening things. So. We'll check in with you. I mean, obviously you're doing fantastic, but we want to get it to the point where um, all your symptoms are gone and you're strong and you can go and do the things that you want to do, um, you know, that you haven't been able to do for a while. And I want you to be able to do them where you don't have to think about it. Like, yeah. you know, you might be still guarded. Right. Have you noticed that? A little bit, you yes. certain you're still, there's, you know, it's just not 100% yet, but you've been done good because we haven't had any flare-ups or any no. injuries or anything, so you've been a fantastic patient. So I, I feel like it. I'm getting there. Okay, okay good. Thank you. All right, so we'll check back in with uh, Maureen um, uh, right before we're done with our treatment. Thanks.